Wh what have I said that's incorrect? I'll do next. You're good at what you do, but not for the right reasons. That's all I'm saying. They don't want to debate me because they can't debate me. They can't say one thing I said that's wrong. They can't name one data point. They just come up here and insult. You, my friend, are why we are going to beat you guys historically because you are afraid to have a debate. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, and if you're Scarlett today, you're back again to another video from Charlie Keck. So today, Charlie Keck wrecks smart students who works away after losing argument. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's get started. Hey, Kirk. Um, my question is sort of a question slash compliment. Um, you're a very good public speaker. And I think a lot of people here might struggle with that. Um, what I'm curious is somebody with so little education beyond high school and, you know, just experience in the field, how are you able to so confidently um, just kind of word vomit, right? You said a, pretty much every question you've answered has been no answer. You've just kind of said what conservatives want to hear. So really all of your work is not a debate. It's just confirmation bias. So you want to have you a debate? A, where, sorry? You want a debate? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm just curious where you learned. Okay. You sure? Where you learned how to I, I'm speak. a high school graduate. You're in college, man. Let's debate. I, I vomit for a living, you said. Yeah. Come on, let's debate. No, I'm not here to debate. That's not, no, that's not my to, question. You're just here to insult me. Uh, yeah, you're a bad... Yeah, I am. <laughs> you're a hero. Where did you learn how to public speak? Because you're really good at lying out of your uh, wh What have I lied about? Name one thing I lied tonight about. The name a stats. Name, name a second thing. No, name a stat I said that's wrong. Uh, you did said 11 million jobs. Uh, you said 50%... Yes, 11 million room. jobs are so, open for blue-collar work according to Mike Rowe and according to three independent studies according to the Department of Labor. Name another stat I said that's wrong. I guess my main point is... No, name is, a third stat that I said you, that's wrong. When you say a stat or you just say numbers, it's helpful usually when you're public speaking to say where you got that information. Because people who disagree with you might not I, I, oh, so, so give me No, but you, you, you say, give some examples. Where did I lie or say a stat that's not true? You need to work on not doing confirmation bias. Wait, hold on. No, but... You come up here and say, oh, how did you with a high school education learn to spew BS? Say one thing I said that was wrong, misleading, unfactual, not rooted in data. One you're thing. doing it right now. I'm asking you a question. I was just making a comment, and you're spinning it. That's what you're really good at. That's why I think you're a good No, you came speaker. up here and insulted me. I'm asking you, how have I misled this audience? And you come unprepared, like not with a single data. I thought you'd at least have like one gotcha, man. Like one number, like one thing. 11 million job openings, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that require muscular labor and require just a six-month technical training degree. That is true. At the apex, 15,000 people coming across the southern border every single day. I even said it's down a little bit. That is true. What, what, what have I said that's incorrect? I'll do next. You're good at what you do, but not for the right reasons. That's all I'm saying. They don't want to debate me because they can't debate me. Yeah. They can't say one thing I said that's wrong. They can't name one data point. They just come up here and insult. You, my friend, are why we are going to beat you guys historically because you are afraid to have a debate. Please. Just, it's so amazing, the smugness. Uh, how'd you learn to speak like this in word vomit? Oh, what I say that's true? Uh... Everything. Name one thing. Name another thing. Name another thing. Yeah, you, sh you should ask for money back at KU. They're really scamming you, man. You'd think you'd have one little thing. All right. These college students are just smug. Like, damn. I mean, <laughs> first of all, you can't tell me to hate Charlie. No, no way. No way can you come to my DM to tell me to hate Charlie because I love him. And even if he's debating and even if he knows he's wrong, he debates with confidence and he debates and he makes sure he confuses you. If he can't convince you, he better convince, confuse you. Because why not? You you came here. I mean, when he said, I was like, okay, this guy is, I mean, we are in, on, on the same level. 
because he first started to compliment Charlie like he's a good public speaking, which there is no doubt because he's damn good. That guy is so smart. He's intelligent. He's good. And when it comes to the Brits, when it comes to public speaking, oh my God, I really, I'm, I'm trying. I'm still learning a lot from him, you know. He's good at that. And all of a sudden, he said um, what he does is vomiting words, like, you know. And he does things like, w w what he does is, m like, misleading, vomiting words. And, I mean, I don't know what, what he was even trying to, you know, initiate. And... He said, name one thing that I did that was wrong. Name one thing that I said that was wrong. You know, that was misleading. That was not fat. That was not real. But yes, you couldn't even name one thing. Like, one thing. I Me, mean, honestly, if you want to debate someone, you know, you come with... See, I love his confidence level. Like, not really come Like, his way, the way he approached Charlie. And I would have been so much happy assuming he debated him. Because... At least for once, one one college student gets sense, get mind to debate Charlie. At least for once, but no, no, he just came here and without fat, without nothing, like just stood there, insulted him, and he even confirmed. Charlie asked, so he came here to insult me. He said, "Yeah, crazy, crazy." You know, I, you know, I know college people. They are full of themselves. You know, they think they know everything. It's okay because at least your pains huge amounts of school fees to think you know something or to know something and how i wish he really stood his ground to debate charlie you know how i wish but then this college i've never like it's i think it's once a while i see this college student comes to come and debate charlie and at least they make sense it looks like 80 percent of charlie keck's college students it looks like i don't know if they are not smart, they are rude. If they are not rude, they are, they are like their intelligence level is like it's low, 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 low. So that confirms Charlie's debates like college is a scam because you pay a huge amount of school fees to be in college, and yet you know, and yet it's crazy. It's crazy, but all the same, I I hope. They changes how they think, you know, because some um, college students are. Whew, is that how college is? Is that how all the colleges in America? Is that how they are? Like, is because I'm not sure all the colleges students behave like these guys. Please, if you go to college, let the college reflect on you. Let it reflect on how you speak. Let it reflect on how you you talk to people. You know, not. Not because you've been in college, you can just say what you want you want to say. You can, you think you know if you don't think that you know everything. Let people know you know everything. Like you know how you speak. You just come here and just walk away. Like Mama will not be even proud of you. Tell me, Mama. Mama will not even be proud of him. You know. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think about this video. For once, for once, let me agree with Charlie. College is indeed a scam. College is a scam. Cause what's all these guys? What's all this? Guys, I'm done. I'm honestly I'm done. I'm done with this college student. Let me know what you think about this video. If you did enjoy this with me, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to click on the subscription button for more notifications. Thanks for watching.